North Korea may not have an ICBM that can reliably hit any part of the continental United States, as their government has so claimed. In fact, the evidence seems to point against it. However, they do have one technologically advanced piece of propaganda weaponry available to them that should strike fear into the hearts of every man, woman, child, and non-binary individual in the free world. The North Koreans, ladies and gentlemen, have Photoshop. And further shocking evidence suggests they might have even paid for it as opposed to getting a cracked version from the Pirate Bay. According to the UK Daily Mail, the stunning revelation came just days after the launch of the Hwasong-15, an ICBM purportedly capable of reaching nearly anywhere in the continental United States. The news initially struck fear into the hearts of Western governments and prompted a meeting of the UN Security Council. Then, things began to fall apart. Trending, fact check, no, Trump isn't destroying national monuments, the first thing to fall apart was the Hwasong-15 itself which commercial aviation crews witnessed breaking up upon re-entering the atmosphere during the test. However, that was just the re-entry phase. What about the launch? Well, if Dr. Marco Langbro Eck, a self-described spy satellite tracker, is correct, that was manipulated by the Kim government as well. According to Langbro Eck's analysis of the photos, the dramatically different star backgrounds from two pictures, purportedly from the exact same viewpoint, show different star backgrounds. Here it is a bit more clearly, it isn't just Langbroek who had doubts about the pictures. Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics astronomer Jonathan McDowell also had doubts about the pictures that were confirmed by Langbroek's analysis. Related, Israel makes its move, unleashes hell on Iranians who get too close, now, you may be thinking to yourself, wow. They went through all that trouble to torn the copy of Photoshop just to alter photos of an ICBM launch. If you were like me and feared they were wasting their time and bandwidth, fear not, it turns out another ballistic missile launch from a submarine that was circulated by the usual North Korean propaganda sources back in 2015 was also obviously photoshopped. According to the wonderfully ungrammatical report from the Korea Central News Agency, which, for my money, manages to outdo the onion for laugh to word ratio, if just because of the ludicrous propaganda and the uproariously stilted style that lends itself to that sort of agitprop, the firing of the ballistic missile from Korean style attack submarine is an eye-opening success as signal as satellite launch. The ballistic missile was developed on the personal initiative of Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army Kim Jong-un. First Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea and first Chairman of the National Defense Commission of the DPRK, and under his meticulous guidance, the report read, Kim Jong-un learned about the tactical and technological specifications of the newly developed ballistic missile and watched its test fire. That's when people looked at the picture of the launch and noticed something unusual. The UK Telegraph said German aerospace experts say that footage of the launch was strongly modified, which is a nice way to say they photoshopped it. The evidence came from the fact that the reflection of the rocket's thrust in the water doesn't match the missile's actual trajectory. In a tweet, Langbro X said that the reason for the North Koreans' decision to retouch the Hwasong 15-inch photos on Photoshop was probably just for reasons of aesthetics. Is there a more sinister purpose behind it? For the moment, there doesn't necessarily seem any credible theories floating around, at least among reliable sources. That said, the fact that the Hwasong-15 launch was a failure that the Kim regime tried to cover up makes the photoshopping of the launch just a little suspicious. Either way, it's a reminder that this is a government that has nuclear weapons and frequently threatens to use them yet doesn't think that the world will be able to figure out that they're photoshopping ICBM launch photos. If that doesn't discomfort every thinking person on Earth, we've truly become a jaded global polity. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Why do you think Kim Jong-un photoshopped this launch? Scroll down to comment below.